Hello and welcome back to the channel. In this video, we'll be discussing the introduction section of your re technical report. We'll be talking about why do we need it? What should it contain? We would also look at sample introductions and tips for writing an introduction. So let's get right into it. The introduction is that section of the report that sets the scene for the rest of the main report. When you read it, the reader should know all they require to understand the rest of the report. It should also focus the reader's attention on all you plan to cover in the report and help them decide if they will be interested in reading the rest of it. It should clearly state the purpose and the motivation of the study, perhaps with a brief account of the problem that led to the study of the report. Basically, you'll be answering the question, why does the document exist? What are the aims and objectives of the report? It should also contain the context, and this can be in form of a background or a history or how you intend to develop the topic across the report. It should also state the scope, that's the amount of detail you plan to cover. So that would help the reader to understand the structure of your overall report. So any limitations of the study you've done or the procedures or the methods used. If you're enjoying this video, why not hit the like button and share with your friends that might need it. So we're looking here at a sample introduction for a risk assessment report. So here we can see that it contains, the states the background of the report that basically, you know, this company um, has been awarded the project and telling us the scope as well is the BPCL depot. And then it goes on to tell us about um, why they are writing the report. So to address basically the, it's a quantitative risk assessment. And then it also states what the um the what the software the software that has been used and the purpose of the study as well so you can see clearly that this is what you would like to see so if you're interested in you know understanding how this has how fast risk has been how fast risk and fast have been used for example which are the software they've mentioned then you would read on read on about the report but if you're interested in another piece of software then perhaps you might not be necessarily interested in this report so this is why an introduction is good let's have a look at another introduction so this is the sample introduction um for a research paper that has been written so here again we can see that it develops the topic we can see that they've also cited key references and the aim of the study. So it gives us a background on the study while we're looking at the growth mindset um, for undergraduate students. And it goes on to give us some references as well as some, you know, numbers around the study that have been the studies that have been done previously. So it then and at the bottom we can see that it tells us the goal of the study, which is to gain deeper insight into how and why the undergraduate students' mindsets change. So we can see that this is really important both for industrial reports and academic reports as well. Now let's go on to some tips for writing this important section of your report. So first of all, your first sentence matters. This is so important because at this, you, you have to pitch it at the right level. So you don't want to, you know, use cliche or general statements as your first sentence. You have to ensure that it is ta tailored to your specific challenge that you're solving using that report. You should also keep your audience in mind, pitching it at the right level, because with technical communications in general, the first thing you have to understand is how, who is your audience. That's so paramount because that will help you decide how much detail and what background information to include. The next is to keep it logical and concise. So you should put just enough information and that would then be developed further in the rest of the report and if required in the appendices. Also, you can make reference to other bodies of work or other papers that have been written and it should be written, the generally your introduction should be written in a mixture of past and present tense. Next, you have to focus the reader's attention on the aim of your report. So this is very important. So you, basically, this is where you state your limits and the scope of the report. And this gives them the background information that is required to understand the rest of the report. So, tell me, what issues do you face when writing an introduction? Please leave them in the comment section below. If you haven't, please like, share, subscribe so you don't miss the important in tutorials that are coming your way. Also, leave a comment below with any technical writing or chemical engineering topics that you would like to see treated in upcoming videos. 
Thank you and see you in the next video.